Hi, I'm Tim from Foundry. We're really excited to announce support for NDI in Nuke. NDI allows you to stream high quality, extremely low latency video to devices on a network. So that means if you want to run a review session, there's no longer a need to generate a quick time and upload it to a review platform or use expensive hardware streaming options to show dailies. In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to stream your viewer out of Nuke Studio. Then how to set up multiple monitor outputs from Nuke. So let's get into how to get set up and stream your viewer for a review session. Here we are in Nuke Studio and I want to set up a review session with multiple supervisors in various locations. Now there are two sides to this. There's the broadcast side, that's me, and there's the recipient side, in this case my supervisors. On my side, the broadcast side, here are the steps to set up NDI so I can stream my monitor out. Go to Edit, Preferences, and navigate to Panels, Viewer Monitor Out. Make sure Enable NDI is checked. Okay, now we're ready to broadcast my output from Nuke Studio. Here is the shot I want to put up for review. Go to Workspace, Viewer Monitor Out. This displays all the monitor out controls here under the viewer. Click the cog to access the Properties panel. And from here, enable Monitor Out. Then choose NDI from the list of devices. It's just like choosing a Blackmagic or Arja device as your output, but in this case we're choosing NDI. Now we're broadcasting. Notice that in the properties under the device dropdown, there's an identifying name for the stream. It's constructed as follows. Application, project name, viewer name. In my case, Nuke Studio, Cat and Moth Timeline, and then the name of the shot. This last bit of the string is what the supervisors will be looking for because it's the name of the shot we're reviewing. You can see here if I change the active viewer, the identifying name updates. Now on the recipient side, everyone in the review session needs to download and install the NDI tools, which you can get from here. Then launch the NDI Studio Monitor on Windows or NDI Video Monitor on Mac OS. This is what receives my stream from Nuke. On Windows, in the NDI Studio Monitor, click the Options icon at the top left and then select the source computer name, which is my machine name, and Stream. On Mac OS, in the NDI Video Monitor, click the NDI menu at the top of the screen and then select the source computer name, and Stream. So now, anything I have in my Timeline Viewer is streamed to all those devices and we can go ahead with our review session in real time. Now let's imagine this is a review session run from a comp in Nuke. In Nuke 13.2, you can now stream multiple outputs, which can have any number of creative applications, but let's just stick with the review scenario for now. So let's say I'm in my suite, but all my supervisors are remote. So for my local output, I want SDI to my HDR display because I want a full quality 444 output and I want to see it in Rec 2020 color space. I'm also using a second computer display via the GPU output and I'll be looking at that in sRGB color space. For my supervisors, I want to stream to them with NDI, and they'll be looking at that in Rec. 709 color space. Everyone can see the same thing using the new multi-monitor output from Nuke, but I want to be able to compare all these different color spaces to my 444 HDR display, which is obviously the highest quality source. For each stream, we need a separate Nuke viewer node to control the output. In this example case, three viewer nodes are required, one for the SDI444 display, one for the floating window, and one for the NDI stream that remote viewers can receive using the NDI tools. We'll use the same shot in this example, but you could just as easily output three or more different shots simultaneously. Here's our shot set up in Nuke. I've connected a viewer up to the right node as you can see. Switch to the Monitor Out workspace, or double-click the Viewer node to display its properties. This is a new feature in Nuke 13.2. Previously, you could only access the Viewer properties by pressing S over the Viewer. Enjoy! In the Properties, click the Monitor Out tab. The first viewer is sending the shot over SDI, so enable Monitor Out and select the SDI output card from the device dropdown. You can set up the SDI output using the Monitor Out controls shown. This viewer is output to the SDI device, so we'll select Rec2020 ST2084 
4,000 nits for the color space. But you can pick from a number of output transforms and settings depending on the output device you've chosen. Notice that we're using OCIO ACES 1.2 color management here in the project settings. You may have different output transforms available. As another example, if we were sending the stream to a ceiling mounted projector, we could enable vertical flip to invert the image. Or if we were sending our stream to a high-end cinema projector, we could set the output transform to use P3 DCI color space. I won't go into details about all of the different controls here, but the point is you can control all of the outputs independently. Add a second viewer by pressing tab and typing viewer. Connect viewer 2 to the same node and double click viewer 2 to open the properties panel. The second viewer is using the GPU to send the shot to a second computer monitor in the room with me. So select floating window from the device drop down. We'll set this viewer to output sRGB as we're displaying the stream on a standard monitor. Add a third viewer by pressing tab and typing viewer. Connect viewer 3 to the same node and double click viewer 3 to open the properties panel. The third viewer is going to broadcast the output over the network and anyone with the NDI tools installed can view the stream. Select NDI from the device dropdown and set up the NDI output transform to Rec709 color space. Let's change the name of viewer 3 to something more recognizable. For example, we could rename the viewer 3 node to NDI review so that people looking for this particular stream can select it easily. Open the NDI tools and select NDI studio monitor or NDI video monitor if you're on a Mac. Select the NDI review stream in the monitor. With our viewer streams all set up, Hit play on the viewer controls and you see all the streams play back simultaneously, but with the individual settings from each viewer's properties. There are many ways to use this multi-monitor out. Perhaps you want to compare different versions of the same shot, or you can even use it to stitch together a large format image made up of high resolution images tiled together. It's really up to you. So these are some of the ways that NDI and multi-monitor out can really help with the review process and expand your creative workflow. For more information on NDI and all things Nuke, check out learn.foundry.com/nuke. Thanks for watching.